Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Denise Marie, and this is my fall home tour for 2020. Um, this is just a little spot that I have when we come into our home. I have a spot for us, a little thrifted basket here um, from Goodwill to put our keys in. And then I have this um, big chalkboard sign that I got from Magnolia a couple of years ago. And I got it from her clearance store. So I don't think it's quite Magnolia like her brand, but I did get it from her store. Um, I love it so much and I finally was able to put some use to it. This year I bought a chalk sign, I'm sorry, a chalk pen, and um, I wrote a scripture on there. I just wanted to write something that was um, talking about being thankful. And then I put this little um, sign here from Hobby Lobby. And if you follow me on Instagram, you'll see that I did um, post this on there. And um, it, this is a um, designer dupe. I got the idea from uh, Jacqueline Lopez Lifestyle on her channel. Um, she did these super cute amber bottles and they were very, very inexpensive to do. I mean, really in inexpensive to do. Um, and I just loved it so much that I wanted to do the idea as well. And I love it. I love the way it came out. Modern, it's called a modern hall tree. And I love this so much. Um, so this year I kept it very simple. I actually did a DIY with this last year and it was super cute. It had little pumpkins on there, but I decided to just keep it simple this year and just hang the little wreath. And then I've had this bag on here as well for a while now. Um, this, of course, is a bag I got from, as you can tell, Magnolia when I went down there. Um, and I got, I just put, uh, this year I put some pompous grass in here. And then I put this little uh, pumpkin pick that I got on clearance from Hobby Lobby last year. And then I um, did purchased this cute little pillow from the Target dollar spot. On the other side, it says, welcome. Super, super cute. But I decided to use this side because I have touches of gray in my home. And I just thought it, I just really love the way the stripes looked. Um, also, I put this basket of pumpkins here. This is a basket I thrifted. And I decided to put um, that there as well. And then I just put these little pumpkins in here from the Target dollar spot as well. And then I have some baskets down here for our shoes. So if you have never seen, um, if you've never been to my channel before or never seen my home, I have a open concept home. So right off the uh, entryway here, you walk into my kitchen and I wanted to put a touch of fall here as well. This year I uh, put this cute little sign that I got from Hobby Lobby a couple of years ago and I put it on this cute, let me show you here. I put it on this cute little uh, tray. I guess you could call it like a little wood tray that I got. It has a pumpkin on there. So I got that at Marshall's a couple years ago and I just thought it would look so cute right here. And I went ahead and put um, the little hello fall sign. And I have touches of copper in my home so that's why I put the copper pumpkin there. And then if you saw my fall haul, I got this wheat, <clears throat> excuse me, I got the wheat and the um, the vase. I got the wheat from Hobby Lobby and I got the vase from Dollar Tree. So I just wanted to put a little something in the, there on my countertops. I try to keep them as neat as possible um, or as clear as possible because I'll be honest, this becomes like a huge catch-all for us. So, and plus we... We uh, tend to eat breakfast on the weekdays um, here as well. And for my coffee bar station, I again tried to use some of the elements that I already had, some of the decor I already had, and I just, um, I did purchase these uh, copper mugs from the uh, dollar spot at Target. If you um, have seen them there, you'll know that they're super cute. They were not too expensive. And um, I recently purchased, purchased them, so that's why you didn't see them in my fall haul. But I just thought they were so cute because I love copper in my kitchen and I just, um, I actually love it year round. So that's why I have it um, year round. But 
I, I just thought they would look so cute. And then to tie in with the lamb's ear wreath that I have on my haul tree, I went ahead and added these cute little pigs that I already had on hand from Hobby Lobby. And then I got these um, a while back on clearance from Kirkland's. And then I just added these cute little pumpkins. If you saw my hobby, um, if you saw my fall haul, these are some cute little pumpkins that I got from Hobby Lobby not that long ago. And then this is what I was talking about, a little touch of Skydive. And then at the bottom, I just um, put another little mug here as well. And another cute little pumpkin that I got last year from the Target uh, dollar spot. And then this is from my Tablescape. I already had these on hand and I love them so much. They're just dried, um, like dried wheat and dried, some other type of dried uh, floral. And I just threw a little bit in there so it wouldn't look so, so bare. Um, and then we actually, I try to make this functional because we do actually use this. Um, I do have my coffee beans in here now because I, I had, if you saw my fall home, if you saw my fall home tour last year, I had a Keurig, which I still have and I still love, but my husband decided to buy, um, this coffee pot. And so we, we love it. We actually grind our beans and then, um, make, you know, fresh coffee and then this um i've had as well i just use this as a spoon rest um <clears throat> and then this i've had as well this was a gift from my sister-in-law when she um when she got married she used those as a uh, place setting get this candle from dollar general and it was only three dollars and it smells really good it's sandalwood cedar is what it's called and then i just love that it has the amber glass and I mean, super inexpensive for $3. When the candle burns out, I can even keep this and use it like in my bathroom or something, you know? It will be um, super, super cute. So if I wanted to, I could just kind of turn it this way and just all you see is amber glass, but I loved it. And then um, I already had this on hand as well. Uh, this is from Target Dollar Spot a couple years ago, and so is this. And okay, so if you follow me on Instagram, I did post this cute little sign there not that long ago. This is from the Hearth, the Hearth and Hand collection. And I actually found this um, online. I think it was on Facebook Marketplace through like a little thrift store in another state. And I just, I had to have it. I thought it was super, super cute. Last year, I had this gather sign um, up here. And if I can, I'll insert a picture there. But I had this gather sign up here. It used to be, um, it actually used to be like a rustic, like a galvanized type of metal. And when I went to Joann's this year, I saw all this cute fall decor that was like in a matte black and I just thought it was so cute. And instead of, you know, spending more money and purchasing um, something, I decided to make over my gather sign because I was actually going to sell it. Um, but I decided to make over my gather sign and I bought my favorite, um, spray paint which is farmhouse black by Ristolium, i believe and spray painted it and it just it i really love the way it came out i think it came out so so cute and so for my table this year i decided to keep it simple but functional and still beautiful and inspiring at the same time um i tried to use things i already had on hand and i incorporated a few new items so for the centerpiece here i use the platter that I have, that I've had on hand. I did purchase this from the Goodwill, so it was a little thrift uh, decor that I found. And then I've had the vase. These flowers I did get from CVS uh, for free. I'm part of the CVS uh, membership there, so I was able to get these with my membership. And then the little pumpkins are from my fall haul. And then these little pine cones I already had on hand. Um, I used them last year as well. Uh, the tablecloth I had as well. This is a buy that I got from West Elm. I actually found that on clearance and because I have touches of gray in my home, I decided I would go ahead and add. Coming into my living room, if you have been following me for a while or if you're new to my channel, I have had this blanket ladder um, since before I moved in. A good friend of mine made it for us and he did a great, great job. Um, and this year I just uh, repurposed or reused the blankets that I had from last year because I still love the colors and um, the texture that it gives and then if you saw my fall haul this year um, then you will have seen that cute little crate that I did get from Dollar 
general and I love this crate so so much. I think it came out super cute. Um, again, I just repurposed or reused some things that I had from uh, previous years as well as added in some things that I got this year from my fall haul. So here for the media center this year, I kept it pretty simple on top here. I just placed my homebody book that I love so much by Joanna Gaines. I also placed this Target Dollar Spot uh, pumpkin here along with my fall candle. It smells really, really yummy, you guys. And then uh, down here, I added my cute little DIY amber vase along with these beads that I um, got on clearance from Hobby Lobby. And then the little home sign is from Target. Um, down here, I've had these books and I just added this pumpkin, this cute, cute little pumpkin that I got from Dollar General. It was $4. They did have some similar ones at Target for $5, but I found this one for $4. And I also saw another one at Dollar General that was a little bit smaller for $2. Um, here I just added another pumpkin. And then over here, same thing. I added a pumpkin that I already had on hand. For this little acorn that I feel adds just a touch of Scandinavian with the um, raw wood look. And yeah. I kept it pretty simple. So now going over here to um, our sofa, I added these pillows. If you saw my fall haul again, these pillows were in my fall haul. These, they're actually coming out kind of a mustard color, a mustard color look, um, but they are actually more of a rust color. Either way, I still love them because they just have such a fall look to them. They're very soft. And they were very, again, they were only $5, so they were very inexpensive, and I got two of them. These uh, linen colored pillows, I got these actually earlier from, or it's actually just a pillow cover, but I did get these from Ikea. So I kept it pretty simple here on top on my ledger. I love to change out the decor on this, and I just added one of my thrifted baskets. You probably noticed by now, I did do some of this video um, at night and during the day just because during the day I wanted to show you the outside um, and how it looked um, with the fall decorations I had outside. Um, so this is a pumpkin that I um, got on clearance last year from Walgreens and I just gave it a coat of white um, paint and it probably is not the best paint job but I still like it. I think I could definitely do another coat um, and have it all white but I still love the way it looks. And then I just got this uh, mum here that's kind of starting to die a little on me. Um, but either way, I repotted it. And then um, and then I also purchased this pumpkin from H-E-B the other night. It's called an it's called a autumn pumpkin, and I loved it so much kind of because it kind of gave off a mustard yellowish color. And I don't know, I just thought it was super cute. So that's what I've done for the outside wooden pumpkin that I love so much this is a new purchase I got this year oh my gosh I have been wanting this thing for so so long and I finally got it and I'm just so in love with it um, so I decided to uh, use this out here this year and then I have my um, my mom's that I purchased and I got those from Walmart as well I actually they were just three little bundles and they were a dollar each and I added them in there and I just thought they were so so cute and then this little pumpkin as well I added that here and then if you and here I just um, DIY this um, fall wreath myself I had the hoop on hand and the little deer towel I guess that's what it's called um, I had these pumpkins on hand and the only thing I purchased was the wreath was the wheat and then this little fall garland um, and all I did was wrap it around and glue the little pumpkins on and added the um, wheat as well and I love it. It's really cute, really simple. It adds a touch of boho and modern um, to my home and I just think it goes so well with my home. Um, here for my mat, I kept it simple as well. I've had this mat for a while since like we first moved in. I had it in the backyard um, and I just brought it up to the front because I wanted to keep it simple and really cute. So if you have stayed with me this long, I appreciate it so, so much. Thank you so much for your support. Definitely leave me a comment, give me a thumbs up and definitely subscribe to my channel. 
And um, also follow me on Instagram, Denise underscore Marie 06. And I'll see you next time.